guys, welcome back to Art of Like Heart. And in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to draw yourself as a cartoon character wearing some winter coats and warm kind of clothes. I do have several videos on how to draw yourself as a cartoon character looking at your face and getting your features down. So if you need some help with that, go ahead and check those videos out. I also have one about kind of how to build up the body and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we're gonna be focusing mainly on clothes. I usually take myself as a model, but in the last video, I asked you guys to send me a photo of yourself and I would choose one person to be the model of my cartoon character and so thank you guys everyone who sent me some pictures that was so much fun to get them all so the person I chose to be the model for this cartoon character is the pencil artist and so boom here's a picture of the pencil artist I'm going to be using their face and drawing them as the cartoon character today so I'm going to go ahead and just quickly block in my body structure so I'm going to put in the head right here and again, for the head, I use a lot larger shape in comparison to the body um, because it's the cartoon version of that person. And then this is going to be kind of a little oval shape for their body and then their legs and arms and all that stuff. So what I want to do is, again, remembering that when you're drawing a cartoon character of someone or of yourself, you're not drawing a portrait. You're not trying to get an exact replica. You're just taking some features from that person and portraying them as a cartoon character. So, Pencil Artist has some great hair that kind of whooshes up. Is that a term, whooshing? So I'm gonna draw my lines coming up in a whooshing kind of manner. And I'm kind of getting that hairline there, coming on down. just like so. And you want to draw just nice and loosely so you can go back in and change things however you need to. And then I'm going to go ahead and X in the face. I'm going to go down the center and across from side to side. And for cartoon characters, I tend to give a much larger forehead. That makes them look cuter. And I'm going to put in the eyes right here and here. And the pencil artist has these great, amazing, big, gigantic eyes, which are fantastic. So I'm going to make sure to include those in there. And the eyebrows right up here, and a little nose, a nose bridge, and a little smile. But so far, this is just the face. We're not getting into the real part of this picture, which is drawing for kind of cooler weather. So let's go ahead and um, kind of just sketching where we know the body is going to be so we know where the clothes are going to lay. So here's the body. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because it's going to be covered up in coats and all that good stuff. So there's my basic body shape. So you just really need to know where things are positioned so that you know how the fabric's gonna lay. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give the pencil artist a nice scarf to wear. All right, down the front does this nice rectangle shape and then just kind of wrap it around. Very similar to the scarf that I gave my snowman in my How to Draw Super Cute Snowman video. So if you need a little extra um, tutorial on that you can definitely check that out there and then I'm gonna put the coat in and this coat I'm going to kind of give a nice warm coat so it's going to kind of come out and then wrap around and there's a little sleeve right here and then I'm going to go ahead and since this arm is bent up a little bit I have to bend the sleeve up just a little bit okay so now we're going to put in the pencil artist's hands and I'm going to put them in some nice little gloves so they stay toasty warm. I remember the mittens that used to have just kind of where all the main fingers were together and then there was just a little thumb. I loved those kind. It was really hard to draw with those on, but they definitely kept your hands nice and warm. And I'll put one right here. And to kind of showcase that it is kind of cold out, we're going to go ahead and put a nice snowball right in the pencil artist's hands. I know that they are very nice. They won't throw it at me. Will you? Boop. Nope, you won't. Okay. Let's get some nice warm pants. And then we'll cut it right off at the knees because we're going to put some snow boots on. And so I have the pants here, cutting off kind of a nice rounded line here. And then I'm going to 
kind of come out just a little bit to get that indication of, of a boot kind of coming out. So there's one and there's two. All right. So there we go. So we have it pretty well sketched out. And this is the time to kind of fix anything that you want to kind of fix or add or change. I'm going to thicken up the eyebrows just a little bit. Give a little bit of a bottom lid. And there we go. So all that's left is to ink this drawing in and add some color. So I have my cartoon all sketched in. Now you can go back and add any final like little details, just to add a little bit of character and fun to your drawing. A little tree right there. You could put some buttons on the coat if you wanted to. You could add, you know, some embellishment to the shoes or the boots. Um, I find the best way is just to look at different kinds of clothes and uh, see all the different you know, pockets and zippers and all the fun stuff like that and it can really make your drawing very special and, and different and unique by adding all those extra little bonuses in there. To finish up this drawing I'm going to add a nice little border here and don't worry about having to draw a straight line. Sometimes a purposefully curved line going in the general direction that you want things to go is almost as cool, can be just as cool as a straight line. So have fun with your different kinds of borders. I might have to do a, a tutorial on doing borders and all the different types you have, but I like kind of the free line border. It kind of makes it look a little cool. Put a little border around there. I'm gonna put a little background. I'll put a little kind of a outdoor scene, obviously, because we're outside in the cold. There we go, kind of fun little festive outdoor scene. These make such fun little cards to give to people. Um, I, I prefer cards like this more so than getting like a store bought card from people because it, it gives a little bit of their personality in there. So well, have fun with that. Once the ink has dried really well, you can take your eraser and go back through and erase your pencil lines. Um, just make sure to give it that time for it to dry, otherwise you're going to have a smudge drawing and that wouldn't be very fun. Depending on the paper that you have, you can use markers or crayons, colored pencils, paints, whatever you want to, to color your picture with, or you could just leave it just like this, it's fine too. Um, I used a nice cardstock, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of paint to mine for some color. There we go, our finished cute little drawing. Well, hopefully you have found some helps and hints in drawing your own cute little cartoon character in a snowy outdoor scene, just all up cozy and warm and all that fun stuff. 
And again, thank you everyone who sent a photo to me. It was really hard to choose which one of you guys to feature in this um, cartoon video. And so I'm just going to again keep on doing that, I think. Um, I'm just going to choose photos that you guys send me of yourselves um, to be my next model for, um, for my cartoon videos. I think it's kind of fun to kind of let you guys help me out with that that aspect and it's also fun to be able to see different people's faces and how I cartoon them I think that might be helpful as well to see so if you would like to um, possibly be a future cartoon character in one of my videos make sure to send a nice uh, photo of yourself my Instagram page uh, you can send to my Facebook page I'll leave the links to those in the description below um, just make sure that if you are under the age of 18 that it's okay with your parents that you do that because I'm going to be posting your picture on online um, so that people can see the you know the actual person I'm drawing from and you as a cartoon so make sure that'd be okay so yeah thank you guys so much for joining me and until next time God bless you guys and we'll see you later bye bye